What is going on fellas and welcome back to the 126 rebuild. Today I've decided to do Ohio for some reason. They're in the MAC. They're only two star. They're probably the best team in the MAC at an 81 overall. I kind of want to start getting whole conferences out of the way opposed to like spreading it out every time. But if you have any suggestions, I will take them down. They probably won't be the next one or the next one after that because these are recorded like weeks in advance. So by the time I see your comments saying, how come you haven't done Michigan yet, bro? It's simply because you're saying that and I've already recorded like eight more so anyway let's jump into Ohio a little bit of a weird rant there unrelenting coach taking over eight and five ten and four nine and four this is going to be easy work boys I'm wearing my Deion Sanders jersey today so I kind of do want to pick up a crazy cornerback if we can there were actually surprisingly nine people that were interested that looked somewhat decent we started off with a 63 so obviously not that fantastic okay he went up 12 overall still a 64 overall I like this guy. We should still have him for our final year, I believe, because he'll sign. He'll be a sophomore, sophomore, junior, redshirt, yeah. So he'll still be there. Brian Parrish, and he's got genuine interest. First off, Brian Parrish. He's going to get 700. And then the cornerbacks. I mean, the bonus is kind of high-key trash. I guess we'll go the guy who went up 12 overall, because that's kind of cool. Strong safety, I guess. And then Nolan Johnson. Why not? TJ Larson has interest at 5'10". Why not pick him up? Five-star athlete. Look how many receivers there are, mate. Hopefully Jeremy Brock is a quarterback because he runs a 4.58. I would not be surprised. Let's just say that our receiving core is essentially done, mate. 83. Okay, we got our quarterback in Rich Newton. Oh, that's such a relief. Oh my goodness. There's another mad quarterback here. That's a shame. Please be a good quarterback. Ooh, okay, 74 is not amazing, but I'll definitely take it. We got a defensive end, because why not? He's a 78. Got to take the defensive end, and I'm going to take this quarterback. Still got three receivers, a running back. Very nice. That's a nice haul. We get that quarterback. We're winning. And we're ranked 18th in the nation on a 10-0 record. Oh, my goodness. This is why I love the map right jerry williams is a 78 overall he is a receiver running back that's really really good i'll take that are we better than western michigan we are we're b minuses that's crazy okay there goes 13 and 0 in the most recent rebuilds these five years i've decided to rock with the team's actual playbook so in this case ohio they run a pistol offense and we've been having mad success so if you are doing these at home or you want to figure out some tips and stuff when you play play with whatever one you want but when it comes to sim Go with that team's one. I don't know what it is, but it's glitchy. We won coach of the year in year one. We have Notre Dame. We're going to lose that. Come on now. All right, well, 13 and one's still really good. Wow, we lost by five as well. That's really solid, man. That's a pistol offense for you. <sighs> All right, nothing but players graduating. I don't imagine our freshmen would have been that amazing anyway. So all the guys we just signed are going to start as well. That's what I decided so they can get the best progression. we got a brand new offensive coordinator who's level 27. So we're laughing right now. <laughs> uh, I'm a phone guy. Oh, man, we didn't get any of the other guys. At least we secured Rich Newton though. But still, if we could have got all four of those guys, that would have been awesome. Still signed a top 25 class. Obviously the best class in the conference. That's, it's not really uh, that hard to do. We got the 16th best class. We're up to a three-star prestige. Surprised we didn't jump up to four-star. Two five-stars, five four-stars, six three-stars. That's awesome. Of course, man. All me tart ends are garbage. Yeah, everybody who's interested is just not good. That's why I'm going after everybody that doesn't want to come here. Because that's pretty much what we're left with. That's why teams don't progress in this game. There are a lot of really solid, like, offensive linemen, though. We could get that completely done this year. Same as probably... I don't know. We'll just see how it goes, man. There's a lot of work to do to this team. Wow, we got considerably worse. We're now a C plus, C plus, B minus. Woo! We are on the up and up there, that's for sure. Definitely heading in the right direction. The number one guy in the nation, John Stevens, is 14% locked. Wow, he looks amazingly fast. He's surprisingly got a good bench press for being such a uh, scarecrow stick. Mmm, 97 XL, 95 speed. Yeah, this guy is crazy. This is pretty much like Kevin Turner right here. Will Oliver is a god tier corner slash safety. No need to even think about that. John Little isn't like the worst cornerback of all time. I mean, he's 71 overall, so I'm still going to take it. Anything over 70 is worth. Take a DT, because why not? We might as well grab John Stevens, right? I mean, he's just going to go to waste, and he's the best guy in the class. Two offensive linemen. Literally two. 
Oh, okay. Hopefully this offensive coordinator does stick around long term. I mean, there's probably like a 98% chance he's not going to. He's he's done after a couple seasons. All I can find is two damn offensive linemen there. He's a 77. He's a 77 as well. Both of them are getting scholarships instantly. Oh, <laughs> Will Oliver is an 80 overall cornerback. That's what I'm talking about right there. That is the mother load. And DT, so that's D-line pretty much out the way. One offensive lineman, another running back, and a cornerback. Still need some safety, still need another corner or two. And O-line, gorgeous, mate. We might be done with this a lot earlier than we thought. And we got Insta Commit. That's going to come in handy for Season 3. <laughs> we lost in the Conference Championship to Western Michigan, though. The rivalry continues. Uh, that's Coach of the Year for the second year, even though we finished 11-3. and three. That's crazy, man. We might have something here. Our target to win per year is nine as well, so we must be up to a four-star school. We have Will Glover deciding to leave. He's going to Purdue because he's a cuck. We have Fagan as well. We, we can't get back. Oh, that sucks. So we do have like three really good receivers. We just lost one of them though. That's really annoying. Can we try and convince him to stay? Oh my god. See, the problem is I just said he's going to catch 80 passes. I've just lied to somebody. The only person I went after was an offensive lineman. Signed another top 25 class in the nation. Give me a look at what the squad is looking like, though, with the top classes. We are 18th. Another two five stars, five four stars, five three stars. <laughs> Our overall is still pretty bad, but next year recruiting should be amazing now. That we can get some good talent. There we go. All up to B pluses, which means our overall is... 1991 and 88. That is an undefeated season if I've ever seen it. Well, that's awesome. The best cornerback of all these athletes has like an 18-man coverage. So what I'm trying to say is that none of them are cornerbacks at all. We can get Lee Williams though. That is going to be amazing. There was a wide receiver, I believe, as well. This guy is Scott Washington. 71. There we go. Derek Schmidt. Diamond in the rough and only 71 overall. That's a huge relief, honestly. At this point, we might as well go and take these bloody athletes, man, because they're just sitting here. We're ranked fifth in the nation my goodness all right let's first toledo apparently we're going to be in the fiesta bowl 35 to 32 win that was closer than i would have liked survey says rich newton wins the heisman as a sophomore see this is why you start the crappier guys on the team mate 53 total touchdowns wait we were fifth we won and we went to six okay hold on we'll check out the top 25 real quick because that is absolutely crazy of course we're gonna win a lot of awards a coach of the year that's the third year in a row we're coach of the year i don't know how we're behind tulsa because we won an extra game we're a higher prestige and our schedule is the same difficultinism whatever i just made up a new word it's been the same difficulty the other years yeah i mean that definitely gives us hope that's three coaches of the year in a row and then for the stats this quarterback oh my goodness he had 166 rating only 3331 yards but he had 44 touchdowns down to 12 picks on the rushing end he had 649 yards and nine touchdowns so this guy was scrambling as a sophomore man crazy he just broke four five quarterback records and the guy who owned him was the guy who he replaced who was a 98 overall <laughs> we're in good hands mate so that should mean that we're up to a five star now 13 1 11 and 3 and 13 and 1 Woo. 37 and 5 total record though. Please don't be anybody crazy. DT and another. Whoa! The nerve of this guy right here. This is the guy who tried to leave last year. Dude, stop pretending like you're gonna transfer and then deciding to come back. You're making yourself look like an idiot. Let's just go ahead and take Michael Peterson, the 78 overall outside linebacker. Oh, never mind. We got three players, mate. That wide receiver can go. Sign top class in the conference. We didn't really go that hard on recruiting, so we got the 26 best class. We're up to a five star prestige one five star four four stars oh my wait till training results this team is gonna be crazy we start off the season ranked 21 that's awesome oh middle linebacker i'll take that though i'm just gonna go to tackle i'm gonna put on seven of the best offensive linemen in the class then I'm going to go to guard, and I'm going to put on the next seven best people. So not the best situation, but we've got Jordan Freeman, the middle linebacker. Should make somewhat of an impact. And then the best offensive linemen who have interest. I imagine we should be able to snag at least two of these guys. Okay, he's a 70. He's a 68. Come on, man. And that would appear to be it. Just one more offensive lineman to add. Boom, 76. 
He's a 71. What about Trey Barber? He's a 76. We got to go the two offensive linemen. So we do get Jordan Freeman. No offensive linemen yet. We're currently ranked third in the nation though on an 11-0 record. Our new number one. Newton's Heisman candidacy is looking brighter after a stellar performance. Trey Sanders is going to steal a second Heisman from Newton. What a shame, mate. We did win the MAC championship. We won coach of the year. That's four times in four seasons. And we have Notre Dame right now. They are A+, plus, A+, plus, and A. We are B+, plus, B+, plus, and B+. Plus. The reason I will not be playing this game and that I will be simulating it is for the simple fact, if I do play it, we win. If I don't play it, we lose. So I'm trying to keep these videos at a respectable length and we won <laughs> ohio is your national champions after a dub against notre dame that is extremely satisfying newton's probably gonna try and leave this year as a junior red shirt he's broken every record the school has made bcs national championship okay players leaving what's the verdict brian parish projected to go in the seventh round promise you that you will not regret staying to get your <laughs> Yeah, we got him back boys. Everybody else is leaving isn't really a huge loss apart from Isaiah Cox And I would probably go ahead and say Ogun some more the right end as well Everybody else is very easily replaceable probably wasn't even a starter to begin with So we start off season 5 ranked 25th a plus a plus and a minus still we come in with a 99 offense and a 93 defense Of course rich Newton the 99 overall quarterback Running back is Jeremy Brock and an 89 backup. Receivers can get it done. All of them over 90. Tight end in 84. The defensive line is surprisingly good. We have a very solid high 80 base with 190 plus. Free safeties are 91 and strong safeties are 86. Anyway, fellas, I'm ready to jump into it. I will see you guys for the national championship because there's no doubt we are making that bad boy. Look at that, mate. Absolute destroyed them. So just as expected, we do go 12-0. We are currently ranked third in the nation. We have Northern Illinois. We're also off to a six-star prestige, by the way. We have as much pool power as Ohio State. We won that game 62-21. to Newton does win the Heisman. Won the MAC. That's not the award I'm waiting for. Five-time coach of the year. And we play Arkansas. Wait, so Arkansas really beat Georgia? So on our second Heisman season, Rich Newton put up 3,500 yards, 43 touchdowns, and three interceptions. On the rushing end, 1,237 by John Stevens, the backup. The senior put up 848 off less attempts. Interesting. Oh, yeah, wait, the quarterback. He had, what, 4,500 and also had 700. So he had over 5,000 yards and pretty much like 52 touchdowns to three turnovers. Receiving in Brian Parrish, the man who stuck around instead of going to the NFL at 1,018 touchdowns. Tucker with 800. I mean, we dominated out there. Seven and a half sacks to our end. Five to the DT. Pretty dang solid, man. Considering our defense was an A-, minus, they balled out. The only difference here is the two overall to the defense should be no problem for us, especially with how good our offense is. Looks like Christmas decorations in the crowd. Let's go ahead and simulate to the next quarter. See what's up. Too easy, mate. Brian Parrish in the end zone. Everybody here is a goon. Get that two points right back. There we go. There we go. Got it with the juke. Oh my god. Stevens to the end zone, bro. Ah, that is the craziest kick return ever, my guy. Oh, my throat, bro. We might as well go to the fourth quarter. No point sticking around when we've got a three touchdown lead. Oh my goodness, really though? This isn't even the good running back. Ready for the cut? Whoop! Easy. <laughs> Step back, cheese! Ah! And that is still gonna go to us though, man. That was probably the funnest rebuild I've ever done. Thank you for everybody for being a part of that. Quick look at the stats. 410 yards for your two-time Heisman, Rich Newton. Receiving 98, 88, 111. Woo! Blocking was immaculate. No sacks. This guy had two sacks, three TFLs. This guy had a TFL and nine tackles. Colia was the guy I think I grabbed the interception with. Yeah, it was. Colia. He's pretty beastly too. John Stevens back up running back. He had that 97 yard one. That was crazy, bro. That was probably the maddest play I've ever had. But if you made it as far into the video, you are the real MVP. 
Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, man. I'll catch you on the other side. You're the MVP, bro. I'm out. Peace.